Consider supporting Sonic Guru Productions on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. Moving on to a, another uh, thing. I try not to scratch my nose badly, but I just can't help it. Well, bizarrely enough, it's not really to do with Sonic, actually, even though it's Sega involvement. Yeah, the Sega FES or Sega Festival was mm. uh, a couple of weeks ago, or last week. Yeah, I remember... Uh, a lot of people were saying, oh, going to be a huge announcement here at the Sega Festival, and everyone thought, new Sonic. Yeah, I remember seeing on the Twitter post from Sega of Europe actually saying, oh, you better tune in, there'll be something quite big. So I was like, mm, God Everyone God. thought Sonic. I was like, oh, Sega announced something, so do with Sonic? No. But why should yeah. I bother? It's like, not everything with Sega has to do with Sonic. I, you, you, can't, you can't have to be educated on this. Yeah. It's like, Sega has more than just Sonic. They have Total War, they have the Total War series, they have a football manager. They have several IPs under their belt. Like, yeah, many of them they have not fucking touched in over a decade or even two decades. But yeah, still, we know that. They're there. Yeah. Speaking of which, the announcement of Shemu 1 and 2 HD took you fucking now, we long enough. That. Yeah, now we did call that, although that we won't be spoke about it, though again, we didn't know exactly when and where they were going to do it. Hmm. It's like, you got Shenmue 3, is coming out on PS4. Okay, are you going to re-release Shenmue 1 and 2 for those who are actually going to be interested in Shenmue 3 or trying to get into it? Because yeah. people who, who want to pick up um, Yakuza 5 or Yakuza 6 or Yakuza 0 may want to actually go back and replay your first Yakuza games. Okay, here's Yakuza Kiwami and Yoshi Yuzu Kiwami 2 for the PS4. Basically, basically, it's Yakuza 1 and 2, but on the PS4. Hmm. Great! Now, now do the original Shemu, which is what the open world game before Yakuza was a thing. Which is, again, it's kind of weird that, in many, like you said, again, it's like Yakuza's kind of a semi-spiritual successor, I yeah. guess you could use. Because open world, um, yeah, I said JRPG. JRPGs. I guess it is as well. But yeah. they are much different compared to Western RPGs. Western RPGs seem to have, okay, do this, and you have to do this, and you do this, and it locks off this, this, and this. Whereas Japanese RPGs are open world, busy. everything's unlocked. There's a storyline <laughs> going through it, but you can go this way all You can do. Over. You can press around as much as you want. Yeah. So, I, I, sat, I played Yakuza 1 on PS2 years ago, and I was like, when the fuck did I lose 10 pounds? <laughs> I was so into that fucking game. Yeah, that is kind I, of... I should be into your Kiwami, but I think the fact that I have, I know what's going to happen, I know what the ending's going to be, kind of <laughs> throws me off. But again, because I've been playing Yakuza 4 as well. Because anyway, all of the games are connected in some way. Hmm. I remember Even the one that's full of zombies. Dead Souls doesn't count. Alright, I was going to say that, yeah, that Dead one. Dead Souls is based on Yakuza 4's engine, but it's right. not. It's a, it's a spin off. Right, it's a one off. Um, like one of the characters Yakuza 4 is um, Aki, Akiyama. And he said he, got, he gained his fortune by money that fell from the sky. And I remember, like, that's what exactly what happened at the end of y Yakuza 1. I want mean, to go through Kingwami, like, I want to find this fucking homeless, he was homeless guy. I want like, to speak to this homeless guy before he actually becomes who he is. Hmm. Yes, Dead Memes, I am listening to you. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're discussing our things first then we'll go look at the comments yeah exactly um, but yeah let's get to Shemu because yeah for the longest time the only version well the only time Shemu was bought was for the Xbox and that was Shemu 2 you mean this one exactly <laughs> yeah this is the only official port of Shemu 2 which, com mm. which comes with a DVD of the cutscenes in Shemu 1 of game 1 yeah yeah that was just, it's called Shemu the movie. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, but this is your, and this it does. I think this does work on a three hundred and sixty. I can't remember. Um, well, funny enough, it's funny enough. I mean, I, the Xbox, I, don't, I don't think it does. But I think uh, it is Xbox One compatible now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say because recently the X One has been doing like you've still got your, X, your original Xbox game. Yeah, they can work now again. On their own certain limitations because I've had games yeah. that don't work. Like, yeah. my 360, Shenmue 2 wouldn't work, but Panzer Dragoon Arter did. Which yeah. is another game I Sega needs to re-release. Yeah, in some way. <laughs> okay. I love yeah, but anyway, Shenmue 2. 
But yeah, Shen- Shenmue 1 and 2. I mean, again, it's funny because I've never actually got to play it. I've always seen it when the Dreamcast was still a box in a, in a window shop you could actually buy. Shenmue 1 and 2 were always there, but I never played the game. And I'm guessing you never did this either, but you were aware of it, weren't you? I think everyone, every, everyone who's a Sega fan knows what Shenmue is, but can't attest to actually play it. They hmm. know Ryu Hazuki, they know the forklift, they know it was the... Sailor business. Yeah. It was the the original game that included QTEs. Mm. So, like a lot of people say, oh, it's God of War, QTE, see, quit time events. It's like, no, it's Shemu. Mm. Shemu did it first. Probably other games that also have QTEs, but Shemu's the one that actually incorporated them very dil- diligently in their game. Exactly. I mean, there was a lot of things Shemu did. I mean, it was a game that used night and day. I mean, most games these days, well, I remember on the PS2, a lot of them just did it, but they never did anything special except in Shemu. It was actually changed the gameplay in terms of you got to wait until 4 p.m. to do this yeah, thing. Yeah, the only other game that did that was Majora's Mask. Yeah. But that the whole game was based around that, whereas Shemu was based around the life of the people rather than the world. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it really was an attempt to try and make this a living world as best you can for a game in the 1999. Yeah, especially a sequel to a game that actually, that um, what, was the most expensive until GTA yes, came out. Yes, it was. Yeah, exactly. It was one of the most expensive games ever made. I mean, there's even a making of video of running around online, but... Yeah, I mean, again, we had this feeling that they were going to do a re-release. I mean, I have heard one or two things about who's doing the ports of it, and some people are a bit iffy if it's going to work or not. I don't. I haven't heard anything who's who's working on the ports. I've never heard of them myself. I don't know the developer's name. I've forgotten. But what they have done before, but people are like oh, they might fuck this up, which it may do. I mean, that's the worst case scenario is if they do these ports and somehow make it worse than it used to be. I mean, that's like a. Oh, that's going to drive people crazy. Okay. Uh, I think the box art looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, it's going to be interesting to seeing how much of it is, you know, again, if it's going to be much of an upscaling of the original or, you know, just a widescreen. Because again, that's, when people talk about pulling these games, it's always the case of how much do you keep in the original or do you, you know, touch up a lot of few areas that what on the old system but can't work on the new system. Hmm. Well, talking about the screenshots, these actually look up, up, a lot more upscale than they look. They look like on the original. Yeah, I mean they're definitely more sharper and cleaner to see certain things. That's the and major hopefully, difference. Hopefully, the draw distances are as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Again. I did actually. One thing I did see is that they're actually implementing both classic and modern controls. So the probably that's something maybe Shenmue Three is going to do as well. Isn't it? If you want to play it the old way, you can. If you want to play it the new new way, that's there as well. Hmm. But also at the Sega Festival, um, they announced the Mega Drive Mini. Again, we said this is a gold mine they should have been doing years ago, and now they've done it. Yeah, it's still by At Games though. Yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh that's great, he's doing a Mega Drive Mini. Go have a bunch, like maybe thirty, maybe how do how do Nintendo have forty games like they did with the Genesis Collection, but all those mm-hmm. onto it. Which for some reason, for the Genesis Collection of the PS PS4 and Xbox One, you're omitting Sonic Three and Knuckles for some fucking reason. You, I know, there's a strange box. thing. I know, there's always seems to be the odd one out when they ever do these collections. The other ones out of it, some games are like fair enough. You can't include. Revenge of Shinobi because of Batman and Spider-Man being in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, that business. Even though that's like three revisions of the fuck of the game. Three revisions of <laughs> I was Revenge gonna of Shinobi. Say, they must have at least changed that a few times if they yeah. bought it. But even so, like forty games like Gunstar Heroes, um Another version of Shino- Sonic One. Shinobi Free, Re- Sonic One the revision one point one, the one with the actual <laughs> f- fixed um set all select screen. Even though a lot of them seem to be using version one rather than one point one. Even I was going to say, I mean, how many even though it's a, a new built engine. And I was going to say, how many of these are actually going to be of just the games that they were then, or been enhanced versions? Like, for instance, are these going to be? They're not going to be any of the iPhone remasters or anything, are they? I doubt they're uh, remasters. I, yeah. th- I think it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be like the NES classic, where it would be emulation, but it, the actual pixels would be pretty much sharp to a point. <laughs> like, you could take a screenshot of that and actually. Um, Mag- you can actually magic wand in a sprite out of actually being blurred <laughs> and everything. 
Well, let's be fair. I mean, if if Menu does anything, if you're going to put a CTR vision (laughs) just to make it feel like you're playing an old TV, I mean, why not? Yeah, it looks ugly. (laughs) I don't know why they included the CTR. And the soft and clean look looks better than the Mm. CRT overlays. But yeah. Why the fuck is App Games doing the Mega Drive Mini? They have not had a good streak. Yet their their, their flashback systems sell well because, hey, Basically, I'm a parent, I want my child to actually play the games I used to love, so I'll buy him this flashback machine, which has 40 games, half of which, half of which I actually remember and enjoyed playing when I was a kid. I yeah. want my kid to play them as well. Also, it comes with 20 proprietary games made by Ad Games themselves to shove onto the market. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Ad Games, and your shitty games, and your shitty hardware and software, because... The one constant, one constant thing about all your systems is that they sound like absolute crap. So Every good. single one sounds like shit. When the DS port or something like one, two, and three can sound better than your shit, you've done something wrong, and that is one of the worst parts of Sonic One I've played. Next to the Game Boy Advance one they did a few years ago. Well, between the Sonic Sonic Classic Collection and Sonic Genesis, there is a vast gulf of playability. <laughs> it's like that's playable, that's not. That's not. But it's still it's still pretty much on the list. It's one and two. Yeah. But anyway, you know the fact that they're doing this, it's it, again. I remember many people were going like when they heard about this, like, oh my god, they're doing console games again. It's like, well, no, this is just a thing they could just do. I mean, they're probably at a point where they can allow to build something like this. They again. have a new one every single year, like last year. The Art Games released the Mega Drive clone, which pretty mm. much looks like a cheap version of the. It's like they took the um, plastic casing of Sonic Mania yeah. um, statue and just put stuff yeah. inside it. <laughs> That's what it looks. It looks cheap, but mm. it can, but it can do. It's HD. You put play cartridges. You got original controllers, and, so, mm. and according to Rich Tech of um, Rich of Rio Tech USA, the wireless controllers are actually really fucking good. They're very responsive for once. All right, good. But a year before that, they released a flashback system, which was exactly the same fucking thing. Except bad. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, they, again, they, it, they, 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 There's graphical hiccups, there's, the sound sounds like shit. Like, just give it to someone who is competent. At games have not released a one to one system of a Genesis flashback or a Genesis clone. Not I'm kind of curious. Once. We've. With Nintendo's business, I mean, did they develop those in house themselves, or did in, they give? They were in house. Right. Okay. They made the casings. They they probably have some relations, like certain like pro, uh, yeah, manufacturers like manufacturers. You produce the casing. Like blah, blah. for example, the Switch has a custom built Nvidia chip. Yeah. To actually give it that amount of power for right. a small thing. Cool. And yeah, that sort of the ability to run those type of games. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe something like that, because it has a custom um, GUI. Yeah. Well, as we know the minute, it's only going to be for Japan's release for now. But again, it's going to be the case if that does well, or hopefully maybe Sega's slapping them around saying, don't fuck this up. Um, it's like, it's a, yeah, it's like, it's the Mega Drive Mini. It's called that because it's going to be a rival to the NES Classic or the NES Mini. So yeah. you have a lot on your fucking shoulders. And if yeah. you fuck up, it is going to be a laughing stock. Yeah. Because there are many people like you and me who grew up with the Sega consoles and won a HD mini to actually be able to play the games as they were, but with a lot of the enhancements of today. Yeah. I think, again, it's just that idea, like I said, Nintendo will gotten to a point where they can do this, and Sega, considering everything they've been doing, I mean, they've been going up and down, like, a, I mean, again, if you could compare the Sonic series as a roller coaster, Sega's the car that practically Sonic rides in, it's always going up and down, loop-de-loops. But again, it's like, at this point, the fact we're getting something like this, and hopefully whatever they're going to do with these other guys, if they're literally going to be looking at them with a stern eye, or they decide to screw them halfway through, and then we'll build the damn things ourselves. Or you can go back I don't to, know. Oh, 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 you can go back to the actual um, um, Chinese, Chinese or Asian Empire where it, you have to castrate yourself and order to do a good job. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> well, right, not that extreme. But again, it's like a lot of no, people. They'll be, do... they'll, be, they'll be a fucking motivator. You do a good yeah, job on this? Yeah, we good. Because if it's failed, I'll chop your balls off. Yeah, because it's the rocks there, mate. It's still mm. there. 
But yeah, hopefully this is going to, I mean, again, hopefully if it does well, particularly if it does well in Japan and it, there's no real issues, then that's probably a good sign that it'll be released on your side and then my side. I mean, hell, I'll be interested if they call it Genesis or end and, you know, European Mega Drive and ours. Yeah, all you do is just change the color in the back and just change the um, printing. Hmm. That's all you need to do. Yeah. But I'll guarantee, like I, I I'll know... guarantee you the Mega Drive Mini in, in UK will have the American version of the games. I was going to say it that. Say Sonic thing. 3D Freak is Island, you load it up, it's Sonic 3D Blast. Blast, yeah. <laughs> Freak is Island is a better fucking title. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, it does make you want, like I said, you know, if it does work, I mean, again, I know being helpful is not always a good thing on the internet, but like I said, if this does well, I mean, it's the sort of thing that I know a lot of people will want it for years, and it is kind of that sort of, well, this is something people really want, and, you know, if it does well, I mean, I'll be surprised if they decide, why don't we do another mini system? I mean, they'll probably put it this way. If the Mini Maker Drive does well, and actually it does good, they may just say, screw the Saturn, we'll just do a mini Dreamcast. Oh, I mean, well, if fucking hilarious. only. Mind yeah. you, I guarantee you later this year, or even next year, Nintendo announced the Mini N64. <laughs> Which everyone's going to call the Mini 64. Exactly, because why not? <laughs> I know they got a wish list of basically both Zeldas, a majority of the Mario games. Yeah. Got 64, Kart, Party 2, Party All 3, the 64 games, as in Golf anything. and Tennis. Golf and Tennis. I'd be surprised if Doom 64 is on there, just for shits and giggles. I doubt it. Well, I don't know. Well, they put the new Doom on Switch, so anything can happen. Yeah. Mischief Makers. <laughs> you know, for a fact, Castlevania's not going to make it on there. If, no, if, 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 if between the two, it'll be a legacy of darkness anyway. Yeah, let's be fair, Konami doesn't love anyone anymore. They just care about the money. Yeah, they would have cancelled Metal Gear Survive for our revenue release in it. <laughs> if they uh, loved us, they would have done the right thing. <laughs> if they if they had the soul. <laughs> or anything at all that resembles human. Well, anything that doesn't involve the graph chart of saying money, 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 money. Well, the chart says... Yes, yeah, so, so, if you look at the charts, well, we'll probably get a flag in because nobody likes him anymore, but another story. Yeah, but actually it was a pretty good joke. Yeah, still, we can take the joke. It doesn't matter where it came from. Yeah. 